Hi, my name's Rex Curtis. Our company, Firecat, specializes in professional fire hose testing. Our patent pending fire hose testing equipment technology and standard operating procedures guarantee that your hose is tested according to the 1962 NFPA standard. The equipment technology operates on a PLC program that ensures each length of hose is tested to the specified PSI requirement for that diameter and age of hose. We have the ability, utilizing pressure transducers on each of a 10 manifold system, to test multiple hose diameters and pressures simultaneously. This allows FireCat to test an entire apparatus in a single test, 3,000 feet per test and 12,000 feet of hose per day, minimizing your apparatus downtime. Our technology was engineered for safety. The computer and air operated valve systems were programmed to provide the safety we need to eliminate the danger associated with catastrophic hose failure under pressure. We also eliminate the practice of releasing pressure from the ends of each hose after testing is completed by utilizing a pressure relief valve at the main manifold. Finally, you get the computerized hard copy reports you need for ISO audits. We also provide you with a login name and password to access your report through our website for inventory sorting, identification, and publishing by report category. Our goal is to provide accurate, safe, efficient, and technology-driven host testing and reporting. We hope you will utilize our professional service and capitalize on these benefits. I feel the benefits of having Firecat LLC are, number one, we have uh, crews that remain in district. Uh, we've gained additional 20 training days by having Firecat actually do our hose testing now. In 2005, we received our field review from ISO, which cited that we had incomplete hose testing records and uh, also incompletely followed the uh, hose testing procedures. Also, in 2007, we had a firefighter fall from one of the fire engines during testing, which we wound up, we lost uh, 46 worker days. And so we reviewed our internal procedures, contacted other departments. Our crews remain in district now during the host testing. That is, a fire cat follows every procedure as, pres as prescribed by NFPA. We, re we researched uh, FireCat before we actually hired them and also went through all the procedures that they do during their host testing procedures and their procedures are very complete and very precise. At the end of host testing, FireCat uh, presents us with a complete record of all of our inventory. They also barcode all of our fire hose and also they maintain on site within their computer system a complete inventory. Should we buy new hose, we can have them test it and then they add that to the inventory. Traditionally, it has taken us approximately four to five weeks to test our own hose, which included uh, scheduling crews down here to test our hose. And we normally lost a lot of time due to crews having to handle emergencies and also respond from out of district, which increased our response times due to hose testing. This is the first time we've outsourced this to work and we will continue to outsource it due to the advantages that we've gained from Firecat testing our hose. We actually did a cost comparison to a FireCat uh, versus doing it ourselves, so there was a cost savings of having FireCat actually doing the hose testing. Okay, what we have here is a touch screen panel which allows us to enter the data into each manifold so that we can run the specific pressure for that manifold uh, that, for the diameter hose that we have. Uh, each manifold can run on a different size diameter hose and a different pressure because we have pressure transducers on the exit end of each of the valves for that particular manifold. That allows us to unload an entire apparatus test all of the hose from that apparatus all in one test. The touch screen itself then goes through the process of raising the pressure to 45 PSI once we fill the hose with water. At 45 PSI, 
It then holds that pressure at 45. That allows us to drain all the air from the system, drain all the air from each of the hoses, and then actually mark each of the couplings for that initial NFPA requirement. Then I basically I push a button, it begins to pressurize the system. The system pressurizes up to the lowest pressure uh, manifold requirement, shuts that valve, goes to the next pressure, shuts that valve, and all of, and it goes all the way up to the highest pressure. Once it reaches that uh, set point, shuts the whole system down, then we wait for three minutes. At the end of the particular three minutes, we reboost the hose according to the NFPA and bring that back to the set pressure point. Then we wait three minutes, look at the uh, performance of each of the hose lines. The computer will then indicate whether or not it's a pass or fail. If it's pass, we obviously drain and roll the hose. If it's fail, we identify if we can the hose that failed. If we cannot, we disassemble that line and retest every length of the hose on that line. Uh, once we do that, we drain all of the air pressure out of all the uh, pressure out of the system. That that ensures that no one has to enter the test area until such time as all of the pressure is relieved from the test area. So that keeps it safe for everyone involved. The actual service is very detailed. They are very detailed oriented concerning every length of hose. Uh, every procedure that the NFPA lays out is being followed to the letter and that is very, that's why I'm most impressed about what is watching them daily. Every procedure for that NFP, NFPA lays out is being followed by FireCat and uh, that is a big selling point for them. Just their overall professionalism. I believe that uh, from the moment we've met them uh, to the time they began their hose testing to actually watching their procedures as they lay out the hose. Uh, every, uh, all safety procedures are followed and all guidelines are followed and I would recommend them to any other fire chief in the fire service.